Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer, holding a professional record of 31 wins, eight losses. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds, fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, presenting the challenger, Jose Elba And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 33 wins, eight losses, and one no contest. He stands five feet, 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Sao Paulo, Brazil, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, Charles Dobrox Oliveira! All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to bear my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. The fighters touch him up. Are uh, you ready? You ready? All right, here we go. Will we crown a new UFC lightweight champion here tonight? It is time to find out. Well, we talked about his reach advantage off the top. Made good use of it there with that punch, DC. Strong hook lands. Oh, Superman punch. Not always easy to execute. He did so there. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the champion. Big ball punch lands. Now we get back to range. Just out of range with that right hand. Way to hide that leg kick. Superman punch now. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. All right, so one minute into the fight, and I'm not sure these fighters realize that we got three or five rounds to No feeling out process at all. The moment this fight started, these two gentlemen were ready to knock each other's heads off. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Well, he's always on the counterattack, but a nice leg kick there by Aldo. Worked hard for that single leg takedown. No good. Nice kick. Oh, nice job by him there to slip that off him. And just misses with that big right hand. Three minutes in our opening round. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Jose Aldo. And he lands a kick to the leg now. Pretty good work on the feet tonight by Aldo. Oh, that's a nice strike. Single collar tie now. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Punch is blocked. Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. Nice leg kick land. Great punch landed with so much power. Oh, a huge block there. Aldo's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. 
big body kick lands. Throwing that jab now. Beautiful level and potentially change. a critical take. takedown here. Fighters back to their feet here. Oh, big knee there for Oliveira. Oh, straight right. Oh! Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. Nice defense there, huge block. And he landed the right hand there. Lands with the kick there, no pad on that foot. No shit guard, he's taking all of that kick every time he throws it. Lands flush with that right hand. Now he's masterful from here. Oh, he went to a single switch to a high punch. Oh, oh takes it from behind. What a fantastic takedown. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Down into his mouth. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you've got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop. you got to defend. But you can see him now starting the game posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. All right, so the next round is underway. Will it be more of the same? And by that, I mean all of those stretches to the body. You've got to think at some point the opposition is going to lower that guard or get finished. And that's exactly what he is hoping for. All those great body shots, all that damage he's putting on his opponent will force an opening up top where he will look to finish. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Oliveira. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the whole <laughs> platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy... Oh! That one snuck in. Nice strike. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. He's getting lit up right now, John. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Oliveira doing the right things defensively. Aldo's lower jaw is extremely swollen now. Oliveira gets hit with a kick. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Back and forth we go. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Oh, he got the boat of the target very quickly. All right, the unofficial numbers thus far, 76 total strikes and counting have now landed for the King of Rio, Jose Alba. Accuracy rate has dipped a little bit, 39% now on the connections against Charles Oliveira. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one, a little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Big punch lands through the middle. Check the high kick. 
Lunges forward with a left there. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Nice one, two there. Oh, brutal knee to the body. Oh! Under two minutes to go. Effective punch there by Albert. Looking to set up that head kick again. This one does not find the home. Ooh! You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Blocks that strike. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand just out of range. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Just a slip there. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. Oh, he might be out. Goes in and secures the takedown. Oh, attempting to go for the leg now. Oh, nice. Oh, we're getting a finish here. in trouble. Brilliant submission defense there. Oh, this is where you don't want to be, though. Nicely done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. Switching stances here. Good stick. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. All right, let's get you a replay from that previous round. It was the big knockdown courtesy of that kick that, that nearly closed the show for good. It almost closed the show, but nothing's more discouraging than when you get somebody hurt that bad and you don't shut the door. He has to go back to work now knowing that he's got about as tough a guy as, if, as he's ever had in front of him in the octagon tonight. All right, next round is now underway. Previous good. round, not necessarily yeah. a tough act to follow. Pretty good, not good. Pretty good round, but not the best round. Sometimes that's what you get when you have fighters that are so evenly matched. Whoa! He's hurt. Close him up. Go get him. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Look at the turnover in that kick. Nice kicks there by Alba. Well, lands a good series of kicks there, DC. It really didn't take him long to get a good beat on his opponent. He figured the timing, and now he's been driving kick after kick into his opponent. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Oh, nice job to land the straight punch there. Must be nice to have that kind of reach advantage, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Oliveira gets caught with that punch. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Punch to the body is blocked. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Oh, he moved right into the kick there, a kick to the head lands, and he's shown a susceptibility to that in fights prior. You can't lean into those power shots. Let's see if he can circle out and make the adjustments here. Nice job defensively there as he keeps his hands up, not just protecting his face, but also what is a pretty significant cut. You cannot allow that to get hit anymore, right? because the more it starts to split, then the blood starts to go. Whoa! He's out! 
to end this fight. It landed flush. I'm not even sure the opponent wholly saw it coming. And before he could recover, the referee was in to stop the fight. So a huge knockout victory for that fighter here tonight. And there is the UFC lightweight champion proving tonight he can not just get it done,